Did you know that you can create YouTube channel branding using Canva? Here's how to do it. I haven't seen anyone talk about this in great detail, but I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know from A to Z. I'm also gonna give you the template for free. Let's get started. So you need to make sure that your YouTube channel branding is compatible across all devices, meaning it doesn't get cut off no matter what device you view your channel, even if it's a tablet, your desktop, or even your phone. So let me show you how to design this using Canva. First things first, go to your YouTube studio, go to your side navigation, and then scroll down until you find customization. Under channel customization, click on branding. Now you will have an option to upload a profile picture as well as your banner image. I have free tutorials on how to create a profile picture using Canva, so make sure to check that out. And you can see this is where you upload your YouTube banner, and this is the size that YouTube recommends, so let's take this and drop it into Canva. Now go to your Canva account, now click custom size and then type in that height and width that YouTube recommends. It's 2048 by 1152 and click create new design. To make things easier for you, I already went ahead and created the YouTube safe zone so it's compatible across all devices. So you can see how your design will be viewed on a TV, a desktop computer, a tablet, as well as a mobile device. So the idea here is to create your design within this safe zone. And don't worry, I'm going to give this to you for free. Now click on file and then under settings, click on show rulers and guides. Now you will see the rulers and guides on the top as well as on the side. Now click on it and then drag it to the guide that I have created for you. So click and then drag, 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 and then drop it in. Now repeat the process till you have all the guides marked down as shown. Once you're done marking all the guides, let's lock it in place. So click on file, settings, and select lock guides. Now click add a new page and then you can see that the guides are now locked in place. They're not going anywhere. Now I'm going to quickly make a design just to show you how easy this is. Bring in a background photo, whatever photo you like, and then set it as a background by right clicking and then selecting set image as background. Now let's blend this image with a darker background so that the text would pop more. So I'm going to bring in a darker black background. I'm going to lay it on top of the original and then under transparency, I'm going to reduce the transparency like this. Now bring in whatever element or photo that you like. I brought in a circle element as well as a photo. I just removed the background, placed it on top, added some text on Canva and styled it. To place the text behind the photo, go to layers and bring the photo to the very top layer. That should give you an effect like this. So I'm going to go ahead and add some more text. I'm going to add a subscribe button, add a cute arrow and some text as well as a phone photo frame and also add some abstract elements. But you can see how my main elements are within that safe zone. Now download it as a PNG and go back to your YouTube studio and upload your banner. That's how you do it. And if you want a copy of my Canva templates, make sure to grab it on my profile. It's called the Canva Template Library. Follow me for more Canva tips just like this one.